said he loved it. His parents tried to keep him away. He just kept, you know, wanted to do judo. Got his left knee heavily taped up. I wonder if there's a problem there. The semifinals. The didn't didn't mention it in the interview, of course. Round two. Here we go. Ten fight tonight. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of nine and seven, the 2001 U.S. Judo Open champion. He's a kickboxer and a judo specialist. Hailing from the Cameroon, it's the African assassin, Sokaju. And his opponents in the red corner, with a record of 10 and 0, the five-time Russian champion in Wushu Sanda. He's a striker. They call him Rostov Ondon. It is Shamil Abdurrahimov. And your referee is Michael Houston. These guys ain't playing no games, man. This ain't no joke. A lot of money on the line for these fighters. I mean, how, much you, how much did you win in the, the Pride Grand Prix when you won it? A couple hundred thousand? What did, I think the prize was back then? Oh, I, I, I was supposed to get something like that, but it came up a little bit short for some reason. Oh, it did? <laughs> did I get a yellow card or something? I don't remember. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Opening round. Three five-minute rounds for these guys. Sokoju in the red trunks. Shamil in the black and red. The big Russian definitely, you know, spinning back fist. Big, Watch for that. He used big, that against huge Russia. legs. Ooh, big Big swing and right by from Sokoju that misses. These guys clinch up. Sokoju with the trip. That was a left again. That was a right, wasn't it? Okay, you got me. Pretty sure that was a left. You're bigger than me, Colin. Whatever around. you say. Sokoju trying to go for that trip takedown. Ain't happening. No, those legs are huge. Look at the size of those legs. Those are trucks. Shmeel nice and calm out there. Like most Russians. Big, ooh, look at that. Textbook double A takedown. Beautiful takedown. Interesting to see that from a guy like Shamil. You know, he looks like, you know, this is coming from Russia. He looks like he would just be a brawler. He studied Wushu Sanda. He said it's a Chinese martial arts and pretty much everything included in it, just no jujitsu. It's uh, very similar to Sancho. Sokuju climbing the cage, gets back up. Both these guys are super, super strong. Yeah, they're big guys, man. Got the body lock locked up. Yeah, the ref telling Shamil to watch the low blows. There he goes, pulls him off the cage. He's looking, he's looking to throw that right hand. You can see from right here, he's looking to throw that right hand. Shamil is using, using his weight against him. Very effectively got him stuck nice, up nice against the cage. I see him so you right there. Got to set that take down on Memphis Richland forever. So good. So good you're trying for that leg trip, but no. those, those legs are just so big. I don't think that's there. What does Shamil need to do right here? He's doing it. I mean, yeah. There's not much he can do right here. He's doing, he's doing fine. He's scoring points here. Right. Does he want to pull back? Does he want to pull back and unload? That's up to him. <laughs> All right. That's up to him. It's not for me to say. Here we go. That breaks him up. Back to the center of the cage. Both guys real calm, man. Playing it real safe right now. Oh, oh there it is. back kick. Yeah. Landed right there on the right jaw. So could you. He did not expect his that coming. Oh, oh. Nice body shot from Sokoju. Big uppercuts. And some big uppercuts from Shamil there. This one, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think this one's going distance. I think these guys are 
somebody's in it to win it. A lot of energy wasted right there. Shamil putting Sokuju up against the cage. Defense. He's just making him carry his weight here, Jerry. Shamil's making Sokuju carry his weight, yep. Just drops down and pulls his legs out from under him. I think Sokuju relaxed for a second there. Got him on his back. He's got both those legs trapped, too. Yeah. He's got him in a bad position right now. Shamil's got him in a bad position. Scoring points. Scoring points. Yeah, people don't realize how that way to Shamil pressed up against you like that. Seconds up here in round one. I think size is definitely coming into play in this fight so far. Shamil trying to wrap up Terry's right arm. There's the bell. And the, and the round one. There it is. That's the end of round one. Trying to get that round to Shamil for sure. Some big guys in there, man. Just missed on that spinning round back there. Both guys missed on some big kicks. Yeah, Shamil almost wrapped up that right leg. So could you. But you feel like these guys are already in the center of the ring. Shamil's like ready to go. Both guys look like they got a lot of gas in the look tank. Look at the seconds aren't even out yet. These guys are already meeting the center of the yeah, cage. They, they both look like they got a lot of gas. Here we go. Bell round two, Shamil Abdurimanov, also known as Rostov von Gaon, a city in Russia, and Sokuju, the African assassin. Ooh. Oh, big chop down, and Shamil drops him. Nice. Shamil pops right back up, though. That hurt. I think part of the, uh, part of the cage came up. Part of the, uh, the graphics on the cage got cut to Shamil's uh, foot. That's what they just pulled off. There were some graphics. Shamil really, you know, putting all his, putting all his weight on Sokuju again up against the cage. Dropping down low. Pull that single. He's got a nice single. He's just got to pull it out. Look at you pressing his head down. Good defense by Shokuji there. Shokuji's got a wicked leg kick. That was, he laid that one in there. Ref's gonna break him up. Ref, ref, ref's gonna break him up here. These guys aren't working, they gotta work. Yeah, to, to, to buckle Shamil with a leg kick, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, he really buckled him. Those are some treats. I'm surprised he didn't dive right on him. Shokuji usually just dive right on you at that point. Ref breaks it up. Probably wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Here we go. Two minutes into the second round. Sokuju. Shamil. Sokuju still on a leg kick. It's there. There it is. Got him again. Wow. 
Those hurt. Man. They're going to add up. Stay with it. They're going to add up, especially if this goes to a third round. Shamil's got to check those. I mean, I, I, if not, yeah. keep throwing them, so could you. So could you trains, of course, with uh, strike force fighter Dan Henderson out of Temecula, California. But he brought in a bunch of big guys for this yeah, tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he trains with Dan, but you know, for this one, he brought in some huge guys because Shamil's so big. That leg kick's there. He should just keep it, keep scoring points with that leg kick. Yeah. Oh, big elbow, like shoulder. Shamil just threw a shoulder into him. <laughs> Whatever it works. So good you looking over this corner. Ferdinand Lopez. And then they fight it from front. Digging inside, trying to get the underhooks. Yelling out, uh, Yelling out instructions to Sokaju, his corner. Fans not happy. They want these guys to work. Sokaju trying to scramble out. Shamil just laying on him. All those uppercuts. It's hard to tell sometimes with Sokaju because of his hair, but those uppercuts are and those are hitting now. Because his hair flies back, it's hard to tell if it's a really heavy contact. On, it may get you the chicks, but it may lose you some points. <laughs> go, put Rashton, go. Rashton, work. Let's go. Ref's telling him to work, now. guys. They're resting. Go, Ref's got to get in there break him up. Break, break, break him up. Break, there he break, is. Break, yeah. break, break, break. $230,000 on the line. They need to pick it up. Here. Yeah. Otherwise, there's a guy named Mark Coleman that's ready to step in there. Back kick, really no damage. No, it missed a little bit. They're athletic for a big guy, though. Waiting for something here. Back up against the cage again, Shamil. Yeah. Pressing Terry. So could you. Everybody calls him Terry. I just call him Terry. <laughs> so could you over against the cage. Ref's going to make him work, though. The ref's staying on him. Work. Come on, guys. A lot of money up for grabs. Last 30 seconds of the second round here. You guys are slowing down. Ten seconds. Shamil. <laughs> <laughs> the referee goes down with him. Took two people down that time. Yeah. There you go. The bell then round the bell. two. That's bell. the end, end of the second round. That bell took a beating this, <laughs> this fight. It's on his last <laughs> jingle. <laughs> last, it's on his last jingle here. <laughs> what do you think, Coleman? Uh, hard to score this one. Yeah, big but time. It's like I mean, Shamil's got a lot of Got the takedowns, but them them leg kicks. Yeah, those leg kicks right there, boy. That buck well, him. he's just kind of off balance. I don't think it hurt as much as I thought it did. He was off balance. Especially with the sound. So that one hurt now. Comes right back with the right hand. This fight's there for anybody to win. Who wants it? Come on, right it there. Up. Tell him, him. Let's go. Here we go. Shamil does not want to stay in his corner, man. He is ready to go. These guys just... So good you looks a little tired. Hanging on the cage. Here we go. Start of round three. Somebody's going to walk out of here with a shot at $230,000 U.S. One million. One million Durham. For the ABFC Abu Dhabi Fighting Championships Open Weight Tournament here in the UAE. Shamil Pepper and so good you there with a couple of... Couple of punches. Spinning back kick. Shamil looks fresh. I think yeah. he, I think he senses so he's a little tired. He's picking it up. Yeah. He's and he heard me, energy and he, from it. And he heard me talking about all that money. Shamil yeah. looking at this boy right now. So Sokaju's tired. He's really tired. 
Substitute is tired. Uh, he's not even moving. He's not, not even moving right, right so now. He needs to do something here. What do you do here, Coleman? Kick his leg. If I was Samuel, kick him in the leg. Kick him right in that knee, right where the tape's at. Coleman is not moving. Uh, I think he's... Yeah, there you go. Keep kicking on that leg. So long as he's tired, he's real yeah. tired. Yeah. Another spinning back kick misses. Misses the target, but he, he, he might possibly have a knee injury. Here. Who knows? Maybe he wasn't able to train. Or maybe it's, you know, it's a tact. It could be a tactic. I know some guys that wrap up good legs. Yeah, he's pretty tired here. There's the uppercuts. Yeah, he's tired. Shamil's getting energy from seeing the fatigue and so did you. That just pulled him right out. Easy take down there. Shamil trying to, to wrap up that right arm. We got all kinds of tournament all over the place. Reminds me of Brazil back in 1996. <laughs> I was fighting with the other cornerman a bunch of times. Was that MMA? <laughs> or was that? Different rules. Yeah, it was no holds barred. Anything goes. There we go. He's just stepping and stop it. Yeah, yeah. He stepped in and stopped nice it. Gloria of punches there again. Nice to meet you. So good you had no answer for anything. Yeah, I think he's, he's tired. He's done. I, I think. I don't know why he's so tired. There's got to be some reason for it. Yeah, something. Shamil Abdurahmov, also known as Rostov on down, the big Russian, will now move on to the third round, the third and final round of the ABFC Openweight Tournament. A million dirhams up for grabs here in the Middle East in Abu Dhabi. About 230,000 U.S. dollars. Not quite sure what happened to Sarkozy. He's not getting out. Fatigue. Maybe, yeah, fatigue. There's he doesn't look hurt. There's nothing but fatigue. Yeah. Shamil, 29 years old, man, started boxing when he was 17. He fought a lot as a child, he said, and he does it for the cash. That's an honest man right there. In the third round by TKO due to strikes, Rostov, Ondon, Shamil, Abdur, Rahimov. 25, which is, uh, that's a lot of weight for him. Carrying, a lot, carrying a lot of weight around. Definitely tired. No. Shaman doesn't speak any English, but let him speak in Russian, I guess. You want to say something? Russian? 